All right, hello everyone, how's it going? This is Chris Rizier, of course, and Mikey Allstar here, and today we have another updates video. Oh yeah, so it's been a while since we've done an updates video, you know, ever since we did PAC last year, so I figured, hey, I think it's probably about time that we dive into some updates. We've got a lot of stuff to talk about, even though there's only five minifigures up here, but uh, let's go ahead and dive right in, shall we? All right, so I wanted to start off the video by first talking about projects that will not be on this channel, so feel free to skip ahead if you just want to see the stuff that will be on this channel, which is the rest of the video. You know, this part is just wanted to, you know, get that stuff cleared out real quick. But, uh, yeah, so I do have another channel, of course, Audio Anomaly, where I make audio dramas, and I do also uh, work with another channel, too. I've partnered up with them, Valor Studios, where I release videos every now and again. So let's go ahead and talk about that, shall we? So... First, with Audio Anomaly, we do have a lot of audio dramas coming up. I'm currently working on a Doctor Strange audio drama. It's about uh, about halfway done. Um, we're getting fairly close, though. Uh, I'm going to be doing some more work very soon, so it's coming along quite nicely. I'm very excited to release it, and it's not written by me. It's written by another very talented writer, Joey Simcox, so I'm really looking forward to bringing his wife to work, so that's going to be fun. And also, uh, we are working on some more audio dramas in just the... Doctor Strange audio drama. I do have an Iron Man audio drama coming up as well as I'm writing an audio drama right now too that's about halfway written so that will be coming up probably within the next half year or so or probably even sooner than that but uh, yeah we do also have a few shorts audio shorts that are Marvel related that are coming up soon too so yeah we've got a lot of Marvel stuff coming up very excited to get that all out and we also do have a Batman script in the works, too. It's been a while since we released a Guardian of Gotham episode. It's been almost two years, so yeah, it's, it's been a while, right? So I will be making another Guardian of Gotham episode. That'll be coming up, uh, I'm not sure when, but I'll keep on working on the script. So yeah, so just know that there is indeed a Guardian of Gotham episode in the works, that it's not a cancelled series, that it's still going on. We just, uh, you know, took a little bit of a break, but we're coming back. So anyways... Yes, that's about it with audio dramas, you know, just a few things here and there. Of course, uh, if you don't know, I'm also making an original audio drama series called An Inkling to the Offings, which is a script that I wrote back in 2017. I'm finally adapting it into an audio play, so that's been going pretty well so far. I've got the first two acts up. There's going to be seven acts. The third act will hopefully come out maybe in May, possibly June, but hopefully May. That's what we're shooting for right now. So, yeah, still more stuff to come. A lot of audio dramas coming up this year. Very excited to get to work, so there you go. That's about it with Audio Anomaly. Um, as far as Valor, I do have another series that I haven't really revealed yet that I'm working on. Um, that's, I'm not sure when that will come out. Maybe over the summer, potentially. I am going to... There's six episodes in the series. It's going to be like... There might be a season two, but for now we're just going for season one. But you will, we'll see what happens. Um, but I'll let you guys know when that's out, when there's more information to talk about there. But um, yeah, I'm going to release it weekly. So once it is all done, I'll start uploading them probably every Friday. So I'll let you guys know. Um, and also, of course, uh, Star Wreck, I made the first episode that just came out last Friday. I am currently working on episode two already. Yes, we've got the lines sent out. The script is all written. I've got uh, episode three script written as well, and I'm currently writing episode four. That's almost done. There's going to be eight episodes. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to have multiple seasons. It's just going to be the one season, but uh, we'll see what happens. For now, it's just one season, um, but we'll see what the future holds. But uh, yeah, there's going to be eight episodes of Star Wreck. They're coming out uh, whenever they're done. Yes, so hopefully this one will come out uh, possibly in April, maybe in May as well, but we'll see. That's about it uh, with all the other channel stuff. Let's go ahead and dive into our stuff right here on this channel right here. All right, so first up, the series. So, of course, we are working on Men on the Moon still. We've got a fair few episodes to go. I believe we're on episode 8 or something, or 7, 8. Yeah, I think we're on episode 8, so there still is episode 8 through 15 to go. I might release two videos, two Men on the Moon videos, like last week this year. I'm sort of trying to, uh, this year, yeah, this week, sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to sort of catch up because I'm a little behind on Men on the Moon. There's like a few weekends I didn't make Men on the Moon. I try to make them every week, so I'm trying to catch up a little bit. Uh, this might be the last week if I do post two. This might be the last week I post two for a little bit. And so the finale, which is a two-part finale, so I, I don't know, we'll see. It's not that far off either, so I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so more Men on the Moon coming up. I'm very excited to make some more. I just started filming another episode right before this video, so there we go. Really looking forward to getting some more Men on the Moon outs. Uh, and I can confirm that there will be a season four and probably a season five as well. So still have a few more seasons to go. I'm not sure if we'll make it as far as uh, as Pirates of Shipwreck made uh, so far. You know, it's already at season ten. But uh, we'll see what happens. The plan was originally just to make about four or five seasons, but we'll reevaluate that and see where we are at the end of this. Uh, as far as another movie, I'm not sure yet. When Men on the Moon ends, we might make some more stuff with them. I don't want to just drop it. Just like, oh, Men on the Moon is over. All right, never see these characters again. No, I want to still make stuff with them, even if the series is over. Which, you know, I don't know when the series will end, if it will be after season five or not. But we'll reevaluate that, of course. For now, though, just know that you can, you know, you can expect to see more Men on the Moon. Um, 
and Pirates as well. Pirates Season 10 will probably start pretty soon. Um, maybe in April, maybe in May. I'm not too sure yet, so I haven't really decided. I'm mostly focusing on Men on the Moon, so once that is basically done, like when we're like right at the final three episodes, maybe that's probably when I'll start uh, Pirates of You'll also see them pretty soon as well. They're, uh, they're coming up in a video um, in the next month or so that's not Pirates of the Shipwreck, so I'm not going to say what it is, but it, <laughs> it might be a hint, possibly. I don't know. Uh, yeah, anyways, um, yeah, so Pirates season, season 10 will happen uh, pretty soon, and I can confirm a season 11 as well. I do have plans for 11th season. And I do want to make it to 12 seasons, so we might go past that. Who knows, we might make it to 15 seasons at this point, honestly. Uh, I, just, I just keep on going. As long as I have ideas for it, I'll just keep on making it, so we'll see what happens. I still have ideas, so we're still making it, so yeah. Uh, Pirates is, is pretty secure right now. We've, we've got ten seasons, or nine seasons with a ten on the way. So yeah, you know, you can expect to see more Pirates for a while. As far as a fourth movie, I don't know. Um, I had some ideas, but uh, we'll see what happens, you know. I'm just going to keep it with the series right now. Uh, the third movie was something I really wanted to make for a while. And I figured we may as well just, you know, make it and, and make it happen. Because it's it's been something I've talked about for years. So it felt good to get that out last year. But I'm not sure if we'll make another one. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, other stuff too. Founding Fathers, of course, ended. Uh, that was the final episode of that sort of arc. The third arc. The sort of presidential campaign arc. Uh, we do have the presidency arc coming up. Uh, probably towards the end of the year. It'll probably start it then. Uh, so don't expect anything with the Founding Fathers uh, in terms of their series just yet. I do have some ideas for a spin-off as well as, of course, I do want to do Founding Fathers Presents. I've been meaning to do that for a while, but I do want to get back to that. I've still got a lot of episodes to make of that, so I'm looking forward to doing that. Uh, I'm not sure when I'll start again, but I do want to get started soon. So maybe within the next few weeks or so you might see a Founding Fathers Presents. We'll see what happens, of course. But uh, yeah, so and then of course a spin-off as well. Um, I don't know. If that'll happen or not. Well, I'm still thinking about it, but it's going to involve different characters, like perhaps Abraham Lincoln and stuff. I thought it'd be kind of quirky and weird as well. Um, and it might, just like, like we might have, like, on-off season, like, oh, right now it's the Abraham Lincoln show, and then now it's the Founding Father show. Abraham, you know, just going back and forth between the two. We'll see. Um, and speaking of spinoffs as well, I do have a planned spinoff for Man on the Moon as well. Uh, it's just going to be maybe a mini series, just like a few episodes. Um, maybe eight episodes, I don't know, about uh, Hunter 217. It's going to be a different style. It's going to be kind of like that uh, that Mandalorian style to it, so it won't be as comedic and stuff like that, um, like the like the Men on the Moon. But uh, I figured that might be something fun to do. Um, I've been talking about this for a while, and we I don't know if we'll do it this year, but I might um, I might do it this year. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, yeah, I think that's about it pretty much for the series. Uh, comical issues. I'm not sure what's going off that, to be completely honest right now, so... I'll let you know when I do know when stuff is going on with that. But uh, yeah, for now, it's just, I guess it's sort of on hold, but uh, I do want to make more episodes, so we'll, we'll see that eventually. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on to Anthology, shall we? All right, so the season one finale of Anthology is coming up pretty soon. We just uh, released episode four a few weeks ago. I think it's been about two or three weeks now. So I'm going to be getting ready to make a uh, season, or sorry, not season five, uh, episode five. Yes, the finale, the big finale. I'm not sure how long it'll be this I don't know if it'll be the longest episode yet, in terms of the raw footage, I think it is, but that's all going to get, you know, thinned down and stuff, so I'm not sure really how long the finale will be, but, uh, yeah, so you can expect to see the finale, uh, I don't know about next week, but it's coming pretty soon, like, it's going to be in March, for sure, so, I just have to get to work on that, uh, but it'll be coming up soon, so I'm looking forward to that, that'll be off my plate, I can stop worrying about that, that's been in my drive for about, like, two years now, I think, so it's kind of bothered me just seeing it every time, like, oh, there's Anthology, is that out yet? No, it's not! So we're finally getting out uh, Season 1, which feels great. Uh, and then Season 2 also begins uh, filming pretty soon as well. Um, I almost filmed the other day, I was like, I really want to film this, but I'm going to wait. I'm just going to wait just a little bit. But uh, over the summer is probably when I'll do the filming. That's when I filmed Anthology about a few years ago. I filmed over the summer. I want to say it's even been three years now. I'm not too sure when I did it, but it's been a while. So that footage you see, you're seeing is pretty old. That's why... It's not as good as it is as, as it could be, so... <laughs> I mean, you know, I tried my best back in the day, but... Um, I definitely have learned a lot since then, so you can definitely kind of see that it was a learning process. And uh, the second season will be better. Uh, so, there we go. But, um, yeah, so the second season also will be longer, too. I'm not sure how many episodes I have. I think there's, like... Um, there's, there's, like... Uh, there's five planned right now, but the fifth one that I have planned isn't even the last one, so there's probably going to be, like... I don't know, maybe eight, seven, something? I don't know. Um, but around that number, sort of... No more than 10, but probably not 10. Probably around, like, you know, 7 to 9, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so that's going to be a lot different than this uh, this original first season. 
Uh, you might see some of the characters back in it again, not the main characters, but you might see some other characters. You know, I'm not going to say who, but there, there might be someone there, I don't know. Um, so that's going to be fun. Uh, there's, of course, like um, going to be connections, like all of this is interconnected. Some of them more loosely than others, like some ones like on the edge of Limbo. Uh, you know, it doesn't really matter all that much, it's just sort of a fun project, but it's in the universe, so it might get referenced here and there. But it's not the most important thing, it's not like, oh, the finale, the big finale of, of Anthology, they're going to go and rescue that guy. Nah, he's, he's, he's screwed, man. Uh, but, um, yeah. So, um, yeah, Season 2, like I've said, if you haven't heard me talk about it before, is going to be like this heist crew. It's going to be um, the ex-Eagles. They're like this Vietnam War veteran crew that is going around and heisting all of these banks and stuff. There's going to be this detective guy that's looking into that and trying to figure out how they do it and stuff. It's going to be a lot of fun. Looking forward to it. It's definitely a lot different than the other anthology stuff we've done so far. Yes, well, kind of different. We know we've, we've covered Vietnam quite a bit uh, so far, but you know, a different team, different guys. You know, not just hitmen, but heist guys. So that's going to be fun. And of course, Done to Smoke on Hell too, uh, in Hell, not on Hell, uh, is going to be coming out hopefully in the summer. I think I scheduled it for August, I believe. Like I have this like whole little like release schedule thingy mabob that I like, loosely follow. Um, and I have it right now set for August, so we'll see what happens, but I'm going to be working on that over the summer too, I bet, so that's going to be fun. Looking forward to doing that. It's been a project I've been thinking about for a while as well, so finally getting into it. That's about it with Anthology. You know, I've got a lot of stuff coming up, uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the movies. There he is, the devious bad lord, here to talk about movies. Alright, so, movies. Um, the next project I do want to work on is the Hunters of the Paranormal 4. That was supposed to come out last year, but I was like... Kind of ran out of time, so I didn't want to rush it, so I figured, hey, we'll do it this year. And I'm going to be doing it next, so I'm looking forward to doing that. I still have to rewatch all of the Hunters of the Paranormal stuff, because it's been a while, honestly. It's been a few years since we made three, so I want to get back into that world and stuff and explore that and have a good time with it. So I don't really know what the story will be just yet, but I do have, you know, I do have some plans. But they're not, like, you know, like, super, like, big, massive plans or anything, so I still have to sort of refine that and stuff. But I do want to get that out uh, pretty soon, so definitely this month, I'd say. Uh, other stuff too, there's a lot of other movies we have planned, like a, um, sort of something that is in, in the vein of Cover Squadron, it's not Cover Squadron, it's a different group, but it's not really a spinoff, but I guess it could be kind of considered a spinoff, you know, if you want. Um, <laughs> maybe it could, like, connect up somehow, kind of like, um, jail cops and robbers or whatever. But, um, yeah, so, uh, I do have some more, more comedy-based sort of military stuff planned, I guess, it's kind of weird, but yeah, um. Of course, uh, I do want to make Deep Sea Exploration Force 2. I've had some ideas for a while, but we haven't really acted upon those yet. <laughs> um, uh, what, what else? We got um, Lazy Man and the Sparrow, another sequel for Lazy Man. I can't believe we're already at four sequels. That's crazy, right? Or, well, four movies. The first one isn't a sequel to anything. It's just itself. Um, yeah, so more Lazy Man will be coming up soon. I also do want to, of course, make that superhero team up movie. I think we've got most of the characters. Of course, Punch Guy is going to be in it, uh, Lazy Man and the Sparrow, a character that you, uh, you've you seen before in the ser in the superhero universe, but, you know, maybe they're a villain. They were a villain before, but maybe now they're a hero. I don't know. I can't say who it is, but there's somebody else that's going to be in there, too. Uh, and possibly, like, another other member or two that will get their own, you know, movie eventually. Uh, of course, Radioactive Serial Man will also be in there, too. Um, I do want to make a sequel to that as well, but I'm not sure if that'll happen this year. It might happen this year. Who knows? Uh, there's so much stuff. Like, this is only March. Like, there's so much, so much time, you know. So much time, yet so little time, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah. So, more superhero stuff will be coming up soon. I'd love to make a Punch Guy sequel already, but I'm going to hold off. It might be just, like, a yearly release thing, even though I, I really want to make one. I'm just sort of holding myself back, um... But you will expect expect to see a lot more Punch Guy. You know, there's gonna be it's gonna be a few movies of that. There's gonna be I don't know how many movies we're gonna make. We're probably gonna make a lot. I'm gonna be honest with you. So yeah, <laughs> Punch Guy is coming up, and Superhero Team movie is coming up soon. Um, I've got a lot of ideas for that as well, so I'm excited. And of course, uh, Basil here. We've got um, United Free now. Originally I was gonna be like, all right, United Two. That's it for the year. Boom, done. Might see some more night videos. I do have some ideas for other night videos and stuff too that will not be. It'll take place before United Two. But then I was like. Yeah, but we, we, you saw how we ended it, right? <laughs> I mean, we gotta, we gotta make a third one, right? I mean, we're, we're gonna make a third one already. I was gonna wait until 2023, you know, you know, United Free 2023 just, it just makes sense, right? But no, I was like, all right, I can't, I can't just end it here for the year and just like, all right, there we go, goodbye, I'll see you next year. No, uh, we're gonna make United Free this year. I, I, I really want to make it. Um, I gotta be honest, I wasn't super passionate about United because I thought the first one was okay. I was like, I don't, I. Didn't really know where to go, but then when I found that, I was like, okay, I know where to go. <laughs> I have plans for even a fourth unit. This is only going to be a trilogy, but now I'm like, 
Well, it doesn't have to be a trilogy, right? It could be more than a trilogy. So we'll see what happens with that, but I'm pretty sure we're going to see United 4 as well. But not to say that United 3 won't have, like, a quote-unquote more conclusive ending and just, like, open-ended like this. Uh, it, will, it will, you know, alleviate that cliffhanger and it will end. Well, maybe there's a, I mean, there might be a cliffhanger. I don't know. You know, we'll see, we'll see. But United 3 is coming up probably later in the year, probably towards the end of the year. My big final project, I, every year I try to do a big final project ever since, like, uh, We Bandits 3 came out. We had We Bandits 3, we had the Skull Pirate thing that, you know, nobody cares about, I don't care about. <laughs> uh, we'll, maybe we'll make it a sequel to that, I don't know. Uh, but that, that one didn't turn out quite as well, um, sadly. But that's okay, you know, we, we can make something better, I hope. Um, maybe with those guys, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. It's all in the future. But, um, then I also, uh, you know, we did The Rider of Vengeance, which actually came out last year because I ran out of time, so... There's that. Um, and of course, I, I uh, SMU last year too. That was like the big final project, which was fun. Um, this year, I, I don't sure if, if I, I've, I've mentioned it before in VA Pyre, but uh, I will be doing uh, Ian Turner. It's a video I've had planned for years. Just like this old feature of like posting on your channel, like you could post words and stuff on your channel. Now it's like the community tab, but way back in the day, back in like 2013 or 2014, even, there's like a way to like post. I don't know how it works, but it's like. It's kind of like a community post, but it's like embedded on your channel. Like whenever you like look at the person's videos, they're like the you see the, the whatever they said there. I don't know. It's it's been it's been so long since they've had that. YouTube has, has evolved a lot since I started, so it's it's pretty crazy to think about how it was back in the day. But uh, way back in the day, I think I want to say it was either 2014 or 2013. I said that I would do an Ian Turner video. He's like this spy CIA spy guy. And have I made it yet? Uh, no, <laughs> not at all. It's been something I've talked about for so many years, like legitimately. Like you can look back and see like how many freaking times I've talked about it, and it's probably like a million and five thousand two hundred by now. But I'm finally gonna do it. Uh, I wanted it to be stop motion, but I gotta be honest, I don't have the capability to do stop motion, honestly. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna be doing, you know, this camera stuff. We're gonna try to make it work as best as I can. I'm really putting my all into it. This is the big final project of the year. So we'll see what happens, but I'm gonna I'm gonna really try. We're gonna make Ian Turner happen. All right, that about does it. But thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'm looking forward to making this stuff, and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.